Rapscallions, Alex here with your weekly treasure chest packed full of glittering digital gold and twinkling cinematic gems that is the Top 5 Short Show, brought to you by Barcroft TV. We upload a new video every weekday. It's part of our routine, along with brushing our teeth or deodorising our armpits. So make it part of yours too by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Now we also bring you full-length television documentaries twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So far we've brought you the tales of the world's smallest woman, a girl who appears to cry tears of blood and real life giants. And coming up next week we've got a show called My Child is a Monkey and the story of the world's smallest muscle man. So stay tuned or be doomed. For now though it's top five time. Lining up the crosshairs and firing in at five, it's dramatic footage of a bull elephant shot by an ivory poacher's poisoned arrow and in grave danger of death as the toxins contained within the dart spread swiftly throughout his body. Thankfully, heroes sent by the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust and the Kenya Wildlife Service zipped over in their chopper to save him. I'm not surprised to see so many of you uncage your rage in the comments about poaching with a lot of anger being expressed that elephants are still being hunted and harmed for their tusks. YouTuber Will A asks why tusks can't be removed or dyed to make animals less of a target for poaching. Take a look at Barcroft's video about a protection program in Africa that's doing a similar thing for rhinos. Hitting the high notes at four, it's tuneful trans woman Nikki Exotica, who's made it her goal to start America's first ever transgender pop group called The Secret Girls. As well as setting her sights on chart domination, we hear Ms Exotica is also planning to launch her own fragrance. This is a gal with big plans. What songs would you like to hear The Secret Girls cover? Do you think they're going to be top of the pops or do you reckon they're destined to flop? And do you think the moment in the video where Nikki's boyfriend Jay sticks his tongue out is really cute? Let me know in the comments. You know where they go. Hello! And by the way, if you're an Anchorman fan, you'll know that Nikki's apartment definitely smells of rich magogany. I sometimes call myself magogany because I'm a mixture of Madonna, Gaga, Britney, all in one. I'm often accused of having a mind that's stuck in the gutter, but not as literally as the animal in our number three video this week, a buffoon of a raccoon who's managed to get his head wedged in a drain cover. Vets first used anaesthetic to calm the critter down, and trust me, this little dude seriously needed to chill out, before using an angle grinder to cut through the metal grill. However, I do like commenter Mr Moosehead Beer's suggestion that instead rescuers should have used lard to lube up the raccoon until he was able to slip and slide to freedom! Let's take a quick break from rounding up this fabulous footage to get a little bit more intimate. This show is usually about me dealing with your questions, but now and again I like to turn the tables and grill you guys instead. Last week, I asked you to tell me what beasts you'd pit against each other in your ultimate animal deathmatch. The answer, ant versus ant, was admittedly unexpected, but pretty smart. Ants are very strong little beasties, especially if they're armed with anti-aircraft missiles. My favourite response, however, is an army of griffins versus the feisty Barcroft TV mongoose. The comment is referring to this furry fighter who bravely took on a pack of four lion cubs. I think those griffins better invest in some body armour. As you probably know, links to all the vids I mentioned are listed below. And the next thing I want to find out is, if you could get behind the wheel of any famous vehicle from a comic book or the movies, what would you go for? A spin in the Batmobile? A drive in the DeLorean? Put the pedal to the metal and let me know your wishes. In the meantime, let's push on through to number two. Tough stuff in our penultimate clip this week. It's the tale of teenager Amy Corner, a recovering anorexic, who, at the worst part of her illness, was exercising compulsively for up to eight hours a day and completely stopped eating for two weeks. She ended up hospitalised and weighing around five stone. 
Brilliantly though, Amy is now on the mend and she's begun a degree in psychology with the aim of helping other sufferers with eating disorders. Scores of you commented on how harrowing you found this video, but also how happy you are to see Amy doing well and how inspirational you find her for speaking out about a taboo and difficult subject. You might want to check out her Instagram account, Nourishing Amy, where she illustrates her progress and talks about her challenges. If you need support or advice on any eating disorder, the charity Beat are a great resource. And finally, looking hot to trot at the number one spot, it's real life My Little Pony, a tiny horse named Asa. Three-year-old Asa was born with a rare form of dwarfism, but he's proved his naysayers wrong by becoming a happy little horsey who loves nothing more than gallivanting and galloping about with his best mate, a Labrador named Demon. One or two of you wondered whether Asa's owner Maureen really gives him beer in the pub. She's only letting him nuzzle his nose in it for a bit of fun rather than knocking back pints, but some stables do mix Guinness in with horse feed because the iron in it is good for them. YouTuber Simpkins18 asked why we tend to accompany our vids of cute animals with jolly, bouncy music. Well, they'd have kind of a different vibe if we set them to heavy metal. See? It's almost time for me to exit stage left, but I'll lurk around for a little while more so we can see what's coming up next week. Barcroft TV bring you footage from inside one of the most notoriously private places on the planet, North Korea. Don't miss out, don't miss it. Right now though, I'm off. See you soon, cherry bombs.